chief of police where I work, so. A police chief is arrested and charged while on vacation after he allegedly attacked another man, beat him up, and claimed he may have committed murder. I think I murdered a guy night. Okay. The aftermath all caught on body camera video as Key West, Florida police officers respond to a 911 call on July 28th. At about 1 o'clock that morning, a taxi driver called the emergency line, reporting a man was banging on his vehicle, demanding 911 be contacted. The man, later identified as 40-year-old Chad McCardle, claimed he had been stabbed by a group of people. Officials later confirmed McCardle is the police chief in Boston Heights, Ohio. What's going on, man? Okay. Stab in the face. I literally just walked by and said I'd call. What happened, sir? Oh, three guys drove me in the car and pulled me in the and they drove me south. All right, thank you. You're the best. In the face, too. Hey, uh, you sing? Where'd they stab you? <laughs> right here. He hit me probably three or four times. I just called right fucking hard. And then he got me right here. So, and then hey, he good luck. Yeah, thanks, man. So, but I had a... Do you have any idea who it is? Dude, I, you were in a Spanish, car? So. You said you were in a car with them, right? They pulled me into a car. They pulled you into a car. Body camera video captures McCardle telling officers he too is a cop before explaining what he says happened. Here, here's, here's what's up, dude. I'm a cop. Here's my idea. So here's what's fucked up part. Welcome, boys. No, dude, seriously, look at it. Oh, I believe you. Yeah, so I was like, I don't know what your guys' problem is, but. Okay. They had uh, seen like my girlfriend. Where did they bar. pick you up at? Uh, what what a bar that that uh, dirt bags. Dirt bags, dirty Harrys. Yeah. Yes. Dirty, Ricks and dirty yes, Harrys. Yes, yes. Okay. So they took me to some alley. It sort of kicked me in the face, and like I I grabbed a stick and started stabbing it. <laughs> so. Okay. But I'm I'm pretty sure I killed one of them. You think you killed one of them? Yeah. Like I've like he started kicking me right in the fucking nose, and I was like, dude, I'm like whatever, like, whatever. And where did you walk from? Do you down know? down here. And I started fucking screaming. I'm like, would you guys show me? Show yeah. me where you yeah, walk yeah. from. So walk with him for a second. In the, in the face too. Hey, you sing. What is that? Right here. He hit me probably three or four times. I just Hard. And then he got me right here. So, hey, good luck. Yeah, thanks, man. As McCardle speaks with police, he describes being attacked and retaliating by stabbing his alleged attacker with a stick. So we have a um, rescue route. Yeah, sorry, just yeah, check like, you, yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you got. McCardle explains he's from Ohio, visiting Key West just for one night. A little bit more descriptive, like where did this happen? Where did they look like? It's an alleyway, like right down there. I put a uh, like a taxi cam over, and he's like, dude, call that one. And he's like, oh, he drove off. So I was like, hey, 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 like you guys, like, whatever. So like whatever, but there were two guys. He had a white beard, black. You said he has a white beard? Yeah, he had a black beard. Oh, right. Super oh, white, oh, fucking oh, black beard. Oh, he had a white dude with a gray, like, scalp. So, I was like, all right, what do you, want, what do you guys want me to do? So, do you live down here? No, still. He's in Ohio. So, you're on vacation? Yeah. Where are you staying at? Uh, Slayer in Miami. We came in here for one night. Okay, where are you staying at down here? Uh, Airbnb at the Kilon Pie Street. So yeah, where's your girlfriend that day? You said I have no clue. I, I can't because they kept trying my phone, so I can't I can't activate it. 
So who's that? You got on your phone. There's a white dude with a black beard. And there's, a, there's like a heavy set dude with a, like a, a, a gray and white. Beard. So yeah, yeah man. Uh, I'm a cop too, so that's, what, that's what's. After that, McArdle again mentions his role as a police officer and says the man he injured may be dead. You're Chad, right? I'm Chad. I'm chief of police where I work, so. I was like, dude, like, this dude drug me down the alleyway and started kicking me in the face. I, like, broke a stick, started stabbing him in the neck. I don't know if the dude's dead or not. So, I was aiming right for here. I'm telling you, that, that dude right there. He continues to describe what he claims happened. He like came up, kicked me in the face. I was like, all right, let's go. I broke a branch off and started just stabbing. So, if like, I, I don't want dude to be dead, but don't around with me, dude. Like, and it's like a good I grab that stick. I'm, I'm pretty sure that dude, I punctured his neck. Meanwhile, other officers approach the alleyway where the fight allegedly happened. There, they find a homeless man who says someone attacked him. Need you come out here. Oh. What's your name? Joey. Joey, did you hear any commotion going on? Like a fight or something that's broke out? Yeah. You did? Come out here for me so I can see you. I'm in the alley right behind 424 Southern and I'm out with a 77 that stated there was a fight that just took place here. I was just hiding from him. You were hiding from him? Yeah. So what did you hear? I don't know. The guy just... Was it right here? Or was it over here? It was, well, I was standing right there. Mm -hmm. You were right here? Okay. And he kicked me in the back. Kicked you? Yeah. I mean, out of, out of the blue. If you could describe this guy, what did he look like? About your size. Okay, what was he wearing? I don't know. But, uh, Did you notice anything that you'd be able to pick out? I would say it was uh, blonde or redhead. Okay. That's about Skinny all. guy, kind of bulky, heavy set. Kind of. Kind of. Yes, okay. Did you do anything to him when he kicked you? No. No. I, I hit the ground. Matter of fact, my back is. <laughs> The man tells another officer the suspect threatened to kill him. Okay. And you were over here when he attacked you? Yeah, I was going in there. So when he came up and attacked you, did he say anything? No. He said, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, he did say so. So he said I was going to kill you? Anything else? So, I'm, just, I'm trying to wrap my head around everything that happened, all right? So you were standing right here. Where did the guy come from? That way, because he kicked me in the back. So were you standing, you were standing right here, okay? So you're standing right here. Turn around. So your back was facing to the alley. Yeah. And he just walked up and kicked you. So you didn't see him coming is what you're saying. I didn't see him coming, didn't hear him, and when I hit the ground, mm -hmm. he kicked me a couple more times. Okay. And did you did you try to defend yourself at any point? No. You never tried to defend yourself at any point. I, he was way beyond me. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not a fighter. I understand. 
Body camera video captures officers discussing the exchange between McArdle and the homeless man. I can't give any description of all these people. So says he stabbed him multiple times, has absolutely zero stab wounds on him whatsoever. All we can corroborate is that he beat this poor guy up in an alley for no reason. So. Who wants to press charges? After that, McArdle is taken into custody. All right, Turn put your hands on your back. We're going to detain you right now. We're going to hold another investigation. No, you're good. Good. I don't know. Am I being charged with something? Well, right now you are. You are detained. I think I murdered a guy night. Okay. McArdle was arrested and charged with battery. Right now, he's on paid administrative leave from the Boston Heights Police Department. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.